Hi, this is my first video on the state of the kitchen. Um, we've got really dirty walls at the moment, but that's okay because we're going to paint it uh, sometime this week, I hope. And um, you can see the tiles here. This is where the oven stood. And I've got an old St. George oven. That was taken away by the electrician because it had to be um, professionally removed from the wall. It couldn't just be unplugged like a normal stove these days. But you can see how bad the tiles are under there. They're the ones that haven't been picked up yet. Uh, for the most part, most of the floor has been um, done by uh, uh, David next door, my, my friend next door, and uh, myself. So he's done that. Katie's water bucket, in case you're wondering what a bucket's doing there. Uh, and that cupboard is the only thing that's got to be removed uh, by tonight. Oh, that, that has to be removed with David helping me because it's a little bit awkward. Um, I've got this, which can be just wheeled out. It's not very heavy and it's on casters. And what we're planning to do is paint the cupboard. Um, my cousin said to me, you know, you should go to Bunnings and get a new cupboard, uh, a new, uh, a new sink. That's what I'm saying, yeah. And uh, and I said, no, I can't. I, you know, just another two thousand dollars or something. No, I just can't do it. So, and it's it's black because Katie's been going past, and Malamutes have a lot of lanolin in their fur. So, yeah. Uh, Benny did that ages ago, my other Malamute, and it's been sort of outside, so we never really cared much about it. Um, don't think I show you much down here. just want to show you how bad the tiles are, basically. Um, put a bit of light on it. You can see how they've just uh, come up. And I've been putting up with this for quite some time, and uh, using the mop to try and clean my floor has been completely in vain because the water just basically goes underneath the tiles as you can imagine but I mean, okay they've been a bit more roughed up than usual uh, there's a lot of Katie's, Katie's fur and shed leaves from the outside on the out uh, here which I haven't been worried about because it's just been it's, it's so close to getting cleaned up it really doesn't matter anymore um, I found this down the street. Somebody was throwing it out. Uh, now, the funny thing is, this is my <laughs> this is my work area at the moment, and so I can make my toasties here and whatever I want to do. Um, and I've got that to work off, and I've got the top of the microwave, <laughs> which is also served as a bit of a bench so that I could um, make sandwiches or something. But oh, it's, just, it's just disgusting at the moment. Really, 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 really disgusting. Uh, yeah, it's horrible. Oh, and um, I've got little um, marks here, which, is, which are gonna be in the house forever. It's, um, that's Katie's paw print and my thumbprint or something, and a little bit of Katie and Wolfie and stuff. So I've signed that. So anyway, yes, this is going up to uh, YouTube and so you can all see it and comment and hopefully um, around about this time next week, you're going to look at this thing and you're going to go, wow, is it the same kitchen? So that wall is actually going to be kind of um, oh, a, ooh, what colour? Let's see if we can find something that's about the same colour. Kind of, kind of like... The whiskers tints, but um, darker, I think. And these walls over here are going to be bright yellow. I know it's a weird combination, I know. I'm not sure how it's going to go together, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, my mum and my sister and basically my family were all a little bit shy of colours. So, you know, they were the kind of people who would go for beige or something like that and this color is fairly tame too 
So um, I just kind of think, well, I'm going to go a little bit extravagant and do some, something a little bit scary and different. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm hope, hoping that that's going to turn out that way. And, and this cupboard, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to paint it yellow if we've got any remaining, remaining paint. So uh, hopefully that's going to look good. I bought this little thing yesterday. Yeah, I know there's spiderwebs everywhere too in my sunroom. And here's my little... Um, It's not, you know, I mean, people could say that's racially offensive, but, I mean, you know, he's got a cactus growing out of his pants. I mean, what guy wouldn't want a cactus growing out of his pants, for God's sake? So, uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, you can see how it is. It's, it's, it's awful. It's hideous. Um, now, what's going to happen at the mo um, tomorrow is the guy's going to come around. He's going to remove all these remaining tiles. And he's got this, I don't know, floor polisher thing that he's going to use to uh, polish up all of the, the glue and the muck and anything that's on here. So it's going to be nice and clean. So it's going to be without any bumpy bits. So that when the floor is laid... It's going to be nice and smooth. Okay? So that's it.